Good evening and welcome back to Slay the Spire and Modiaparanus. We just finished the second area of the city. Uh, we're on the 34th floor. We are rich. We have relics like crazy. And it's going to get even better from here. Uh, we have a deck that's nuts. Completely bonkers. We took out the boss of the city in four turns. If you didn't watch the last episode, go check it out. But uh, what we have here is whenever I save the game and exit out, uh, and I, at the beginning of the next area, it doesn't say when we open the chest here. Now, what I found, though, I think I think what we found is that the relics always stay the same. So you can't just cheese it by exiting out and coming back in. I'm glad it's it's tied to the box. As soon as you obtain the box, the loot inside of it is a set. So I'm pretty sure it's, it applies to things like these relics here, too, which is attain three curses and three relics. I don't think we'll get a randomized selection from here. It's, it's based on when the box generates. So I want to pick that because we want the three curses. We don't want, want the three curses, but we want... The three relics and the three curses we can get rid of easily because we have so many discard cards in our hand and then every time we discard a card we get three block so these curses are just three block cards to my, my, my one energy three block cards basically um or less and then we have a lot of good stuff here this is giving us twice attacks on anything that's a cost of two this is giving us double damage every tenth attack if you can line these things up mm, beautiful we have scales so we deal two damage whenever we get hit. Uh, we get three energy, extra energy every three turns. We get uh, bonus energy and a rest. We get extra strength at the start of each combat. And we're going to get more here now. So we got the relic. We got those. Okay, so yes, it is. it does stay the same. The, the loot does generate and the cards do generate when the box is created, it seems like. So these are the exact same things we got before we got the oddly smooth stone. We gain one dexterity. That's just great for adding block on. Blood Vial, we gain 2 HP at the beginning of combat. That's not much. It's not life-changing, but it's something. And Anchor, start each combat with 10 block. That's actually really cool. Saves us the first turn. We're going to have this whole thing light up with relics, and I'm, I'm perfectly okay with that. All right, now on to the next area, the Beyond. And we have never made it beyond the Beyond, so I don't know what comes after that. But we have this Black Star here means we have to fight some elites here at some point so we get more relics. Just relic obsessed now. Uh, oh my god! Look at all the look at all the elites this direction here. We got to fight one here, one here. That means we have to get over to here, and we're gonna bypass the guy here. Then we can't. There's no way we can get all of them. So I think we should stick to the right hand path, but it doesn't really matter right now. We get two in a row, or we get one and a an option. If we go this route, though, we have a choice of breaking off right here down the road. We probably want to hit this shop though. Well, if we get through this, this guy, though, and hit the shop afterwards, let's see how these first couple battles go here. I'm going to pick right here. And, uh... Alright, strength up. This guy has strength. At the end of its turn, gains three strengths. So this is going to be bad. This is going to be pretty bad. He's got a lot of strength. He's got a lot of bad stuff in our hand here. Um, We can do a few things, though. Uh... All right, so we want to discard a card for sure. And we want to do remove this guy so we don't get weak in our hand. And we got 10 block already, remember? So we just discard one card. And we got 22 block now. Oh, because do we get bonus block? Do we get bonus block from the relic now too? No, I don't think so. But we got, we got block from the card we just played, which was 8. And it became more... It's 8 by default. It became 9, I think, with the extra block there. All right. So, thinking maybe all out attack. But get the vulnerable on there first. We can block all of it right now. So, let's get the vulnerable on there first. We have extra energy today. So, we can play all these. Uh, 16 damage. Nice. And then uh, double attack damage next turn. It's going to show up to be a very, very good run here. It's very, very good. This guy was very intimidating last time we faced him. Now, not so much. Then again... We'll get two of these guys coming up here pretty soon. And, uh, okay, so... Now we're in a great place here. We don't need to worry about blocking much because we can do 20 damage. So let's see, let's time this out right because... We have three attacks here. We don't have a double attack here right now. But we might be able to kill this guy. He's gonna do 27. This is gonna do 30. And this is gonna do double damage for 60. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. Oh my god. Oh man, that was two turns for that battle in area three. Okay, now let's take a look here quick. 
Slice. Not a bad one. Deal 16 damage, ignite exhaust. Meh. Deal 14 damage to all enemies, one less card next turn. Oh, these are all pretty good damage cards for us, and I do want damage in my hand. Just debating if this is a good card or not. 16 damage at the start of combat is not super great. Because I mean we can't do we can't do the stacking damage or anything like that right away here. This coming back through a second time is better. This might just be good overall. Because that's up on par with our that's basically on par with our it's a free strike, basically. Alright, I'll take the slice. Keep my energy costs low here. Alright. An highly or ornamented tomb can be seen on the other side of a floating path. Upon reaching the tomb, you notice a slot for gold coins with a scratched out inscription above it. Oh, man. Give up all gold. Give up all of our gold for a relic. All of our gold for a relic. It better be really good. It better be really good. When's our merchant coming up here? I mean, I'm not going to save up hundreds of gold by the time we get to a merchant, but we do have three potential battles before we get to a merchant. I mean, I really only want to get like at least 75 so I can get a card removal. You know, the odds of it being a, a cool, unique relic are pretty high. We got Red Mask. Apply all combat. Apply one week to all enemies. Well. Yeah, that's not really that great. It's one turn of week. If it was week every single turn, at the start of each turn, apply one week to all enemies, that would be something. All right. Take from others that I've taken from you, I guess, man. I, I was a, that was a big trade there. That was a, that was that was a that was too much of a trade. Ooh, hello. Hey, well, that's handy. I'll take it. Where is the relic master? All right. So now I'm thinking maybe not the merchant this time around. Like go the I mean, oh, then we're going to skip past two two elites though, and we're doing so well so far. All right, let's see how this battle goes. All right. So this guy's got thorns, this guy's got thorns, and this guy buzz buffing on each of the enemies here. So, he doesn't have the negative... Oh, he doesn't have that side effect, though. Interesting. Alright, well, we got 10 block to start with here. Um, There's no downside to this one right now. Let's play that. Dagger throw. Okay, I think we can kill this guy safely. He is not gonna... Uh, put up much of a fight. I don't want to do thorns, because it's gonna attack all enemies. Right now, anyways. I probably want to focus on taking him down first. Oh, let's see, get this one. Necronomicon's not hurting as much as that one is. More block for us. All right. Now, if we play Jax, we actually lose three HP at the start of each battle. We gain one H or gain two HP with the vial here. So we only we're technically would lose one. We could play this every single round and only lose one. It's not a bad deal. That kind of offsets, and I think it's worthwhile. Um, we have enough to get him without it, though. Let's see. Well, okay, let's see. We have, How much thorns do these guys do? They do three damage back. We have enough to block it, and I think it's a good time to play this because we can have enough to block all of their retaliation and then also kill this guy. So let's do this. And he's only going to hit for five. And then we're going to play uh, this guy and get more energy next turn. And we're gonna end it. I guess I'm not gonna do the jacks. These guys are these guys are dead. I mean, this, it's already over. See, now they both boosted their thorns up, so we definitely want to. No, oh, see, we we two play that game with thorns to right back. See, like that. We also got bonus energy for the happy flower just now. Uh, all right. Let's get the nine block on because this guy's gonna retaliate a bit. They're both gonna retaliate a bit. If we play this one, we're gonna do we're gonna hit. hit we're going to hit five and three twice. We're going to hit eight times with that one. I don't like that one very much. Uh, Predator will attack two times, though. Will it kill him? 16 times two. Hmm. He's going to retaliate twice, though. He's going to hit for six. This guy's going to hit for seven, then. And I don't have any way to... 
let's do this. And we're going to discard you. Confirm. I'm going to play this at the very end. Let's let him hit us twice for this. Get dead. And then discard. And we're good. All right. That's how we do that. That's exactly how we do that. That couldn't have been played better. I don't think. All right. So now we have so many options here. Gain energy. Draw, draw to cards. We can do ex ex we can do discard uh, calculated gambit. There's a point we might get to where we can do calculated gambit twice in a turn. Let's get this on him right now. So he dies easy. Uh, let's see. Yeah, got the block on there. Doesn't matter, but we got it. Is this gonna go more than two turns now? It's 15. Let's make sure I can block all of what he has here. So let's do this. Let's do this because then I get a gain a. I gain a block then. All right. And then we can do a And to see if I have anything I can do a block and uh I want to see if I can do anything that can block and attack here. I have two energy left. Let's see. We'll draw six. Let's just do this. There's always good cards in our hand. There. Now I don't have to worry. I, don't think I can just attack them however I want to now. It's not going to matter. There. We don't have to overthink it. There's so many good cards in our hand. We don't have to overthink that at all. All right. I'm not getting enough money to actually get rid of a card from our deck here. Uh, this is not a bad one. Again, we have so many. Uh, this is a free card, basically. All right. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Let's do this guy, and then we'll decide if we want to go to the elite this way, and we won't get a second elite then. Well, we actually could. We could, because we can go, we can dash back this way afterwards and get this elite. So we still would get, no, oh, this is a good way we can get two elites if we go that way. Otherwise, we go this way and we get two elites. Well, I think I'd rather have a few more stops in between when I get my, um, when I get my, 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 uh, next merchant here. All right. Well, still, we got to get this guy first. Let's decide it in a minute here. Okay. Okay. Explosive, explosive. And then this guy's got that wall on. We can handle explosive. He does eight damage. These guys boost this up though. So we have to be careful. We might be able to kill him right away though. Let's see. All right. So let's do this here first. Let's do. Ho, 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 ho. We need, we need, a uh, we need, um, we need a times two attack right now. We can't, we don't have it though. Well, I should play this for sure. Cause this is good. Cause this will attack, uh, deal 22 damage to all enemies. Do I have terror? I can play first, play this first on him probably. Oh, he has to block though. Shoot, I forgot about that. Looked before I leaped. Or leapt before I looked. Uh, all right, so let's do this guy. All right, pendant wears off, and then we can do. We have two more damage. We can do. Discard you, gain eight block. Don't need it right now, just in case we kill one of these guys. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. And I'll discard you. We'll do doppelganger. Because it's not going to come back through really. I don't think it's going to matter too much. This, this is going to go pretty as a pretty fast battle. So I'll take the bonus energy next turn here. He's in his for six. This guy's going to add on about 40 more block. We're in good shape though. We took care of one of his one of his things here. Unfortunately, unfortunately we wasted our vulnerability. So now he's going to do 12 upon death. So we got to make sure we're ready for that block. Okay, we now we have to block a ton. I want to kill this guy first, I think. First thing we can do is play this. That'll redraw our hand, and we'll get some block out of it, too. Let's do that quick. I know there's some good cards in there, but...
Okay. Next, we need to start thinking about how to kill these guys. Let's try this. Let's get this out there. Okay. So now that I have all this blocked, let's think about this here. I can't quite kill him. I can definitely kill him this turn, though. And explode for eight. He's gonna be for nine. It takes me now to seven. He's gonna be for ten, though. I have four more blocks, though, still. These two cards would kill him. There's that. Well, I want to get this out there for sure. That's all the block we can get, then. Let's hit this, then. 16. Then we decide if we want to kill this guy. We can't kill him, can we? Give enough energy to knock him down though a bit. All right, I'm satisfied. We're gonna block all the damage. Oh, we're gonna take three damage actually. That's all right. <clears throat> I can handle it. I can take three because we're gonna gain two back at the end of this battle, and I don't think we're gonna take any more damage beyond this because we have so much block once we get through these first couple guys here. So. Okay, they put weakened on me for another five turns now. He's gonna hit for 20 now. Jeez. Um. Okay, we need to block all of his explosive damage he's about to do to us. So that's, that's enough for that. Let's do this. And discard you. Alright, down to three. He's gonna hit us for a ton now. Ugh. Oh, woof. That's going to be bad. I don't need the strength, though. I think once we get through this, this round, we'll be fine against this guy. He's just going to hit us for a lot. What can I do? Definitely play this. That's what I can do. Less than... Oh, because he has the artifact, though. Shoot. Oh, well. Well, it's not going to... Well. Oh, it's not going to get through his... It's not getting through his armor, though, is it? That's just gonna hit his block, his shield. I want to save that for a boss, I guess. All right, he's hitting us for a lot here. Ta we'll take it, we'll take it. But oh, that hurts! That hurts so much. All right, we gotta get through thirty-nine. Let's play this out there. Let's play this out there. All right, we got some effects on him finally. He's hitting us for seven. That's enough to block that. Start working this down, I guess. He's gonna add on more block now, too. Back to 31. It's, it's okay. We're okay. Alright. Draw three, discard one. One of these is gonna be a curse. Escape plan. This is not a skill. Uh, we have nothing to block this attack now. We're taking it down three of it right now. Let's just start wearing, wearing it down here. We might be able to get through him. Can we get through him? Oh, yeah, totally. Because this will, this will attack twice. There we go. So, 20 damage is what we took there. Got an energy potion, and let's see. No. No. And a no. Skip it. All right, skipping cards. All right, so now we got the elite. And as I said, we don't have enough money to really do anything good at the merchant, so I'm gonna skip it for now. We're gonna go this way around. We'll come back around and get the other elite up here. And we'll have two elites. If we can get through this guy, we'll get a two more relics. I'm excited. All right, we got this guy again. Intangible, reduce all damage taken to one. Okay, that's fine. We have a lot of attacks. This is fine. So this is not gonna be helpful. Um. He's going to attack for six times three right now. His weekend is even is on there and he's attacking for that much here. Um, Let's do this right away. Okay. This does not really matter. I'm not going to waste energy on that. This is going to make a difference because I'll be a couple more turns now with that. So six times three, and we have 28 blocks. So that's enough, right? Is it 18? Yeah. Well, I don't think this matters, but I guess we'll play it. 
Or he's not going to take extra damage. What I'm thinking is... We play this. And then we hit him with this next turn. We get more energy and more cards. Alright. First round is blocked. I'm satisfied with that. Alright. Next. See, this is the kind of thing we need. Right there. Uh, let's do this. There's one. Confirm that. Uh, let's do this. That does that. Okay. This does not help us this turn. Eh, there's no problem with this one. We can just let this go. There's nothing worth blocking here. I could add the strength on. I don't want to take the HP hit. I think we can be fine here. We only got to get 24 more attacks on him. I think we got him. I think we got him. He's going to hit us with a negative debuff. Dexterity wears off. Okay, so he just basically hit us with a weaken and it got rid of our dexterity. Okay. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Let's do this. Um, this will attack for two damage twice. Or uh, one damage twice. Would that be better than playing two damage, one damage cards? Probably not. Play this one first. Discard you. Play this out there. Play this one for sure. Still have three left. Well, I got... Okay, let's do this. I did do any extra damage with the pen nib. That's okay, though. Uh, he's adding on shield next turn. Let's see. Let's just do that. All right, down to 19. We're getting there. Three? Three. All right, we could really use a lot of cards in our hand here. Okay. Let's do this. All right, we didn't get the card I want. Yet, anyways. We have to get 40 blocks somehow. Let's start getting it out there. We have 11, 19... Apply that weak. Down to 30 now. It's a little closer to what we need. Get this out there. Get this blocked. And we can't play this, but I think we did a pretty good job. Oh, we got the 30 exactly. Wow, love it. So yeah, we did a pretty good job. I mean, I haven't had to play any potions against this guy yet. Uh, he's doing another debuff to... He's doing buffing himself. Negative effects on us. That's going to be a vulnerability, or a weekend probably, or um, fragile, probably. It's a skill. Uh, let's see. No attack damage coming our way, so we'll just do this for one, do this for two. All right, and that'll be it. Okay. And now he's going to hit us with that, so we can't block very well. Yeah. All right. 8 times 3, so 24 this time we have to get through. Get this out there. Alright, I'm going to play this calculated odds next here. Let's get some more block added in. 24 is what we need. Let's play this out there. Discard you. We're up to 20. Play this. Discard you. Confirm. Play this. Up to 23. Not bad. Down to 10. All right. It's a long drawn out battle, but we're doing okay. It's officer one. I don't mind. I don't mind it. It's not too bad. Seven is reachable. Oof. We got to block a lot of damage again, though. Let's get this out there. That was not a skill. Okay. Block this, block this, get this out there, get this out there. We got 20, we got 19, this is 24 worth. Not enough. Will this do the job? It's all damage taken. I think it's just going to do one damage. Not worth it. We're going to take five damage on that, but we're through an elite. That's the important thing. 
I think five, five hits left. Oh, every time he attacks us, he takes damage too, which is great. Forgot about that part. Okay, we need two damage then, right? Got it. All right, not too bad. Overall, I think we took four damage. We got the Smiling Mask. Yes. Now always cost 50. Okay, cool. Centennial Puzzle. The first time you lose HP each combat, draw three cards. Okay, I like that. I mean, that's no problem with that. I like drawing cards. And then add a card. Okay, so we have... Whenever you play a card, deal one damage to all enemies. Fun. Finisher. Deal eight damage for each card. Play this I like. This I like. Yeah, that one I like a lot. Eight damage for each attack played this turn. That is tremendous. Plus all the buffs we get to that. Oh my god, that's a finisher for sure. I love it. I love it. All right. Cool. He's got 300 health. No problem. No problem at all. All right, these are freebies. I'm going to play those first. Uh, then I'm going to probably... I don't need to do that this time. Let's get this out there. That puts nine poison on it. That's nice. Uh, I don't need the block. Don't mind the dagger throw, I guess. Uh, I don't mind this either. This is a this is a battle I will consider playing that Jax on. All right, do I have to do doppelganger get better attacks next turn? I think I do this, and not worry about ten, ten damage. Ten damage in the long haul doesn't really matter to us. And actually, I could play this though just in case. Let's see what we get. Yeah, why not? All right, works for me. We lost Predator, but that's okay. All right, what you got? Frail, weaken. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's a bad one. Oh, that's a bad one. All right, deal seven. We want to get rid of doubt. Remove all doubt. Twenty-five. Uh, mm hmm. This is not great. Let's throw this on there. It doesn't really matter, but I want to get it out there. Form so I'm not tempted to do it. I should have put this on there first, though. Let's definitely get that on there. We're going to want that. Let's get rid of this. Let's get the jacks out there, I think. Take the three. Get this out there. We got this to block some of that damage. We're down to 16. This is worth 20. Actually, 30. So this one and this one, or this one and this one. Probably long, long term, this is a better card to play. So let's do this then. Let's take a little less damage here. And we'll play this too. Alright, so we're going to take 11 points here. Not thrilled. Not thrilled. Next turn, we're probably going to want to play this too. This guy's no good. I don't like this guy. Oof. We're getting there though. Double damage this turn. Loving it. And of course, we didn't get any attack cards. Oh my god. Just our luck. Just our luck. We get double damage. And uh, we get 16. You've played zero attack cards this turn. It's useless. The wrong timing altogether here. That's how we lose. Are you going to buff himself, it looks like? Yeah. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We can't play a single thing this turn. That is so terrible. We have the double damage and everything. Can't believe it worked out like that. All right. And we can't... We, this will do zero damage. Yeah. That a feeling would. Alright. <sighs> that was unfortunate. Got three strength now, so he's doing even more damage to us. We got more energy this turn, which is great. A weekend would be good. Yes. I like that. 21 now. 
Oh, man. He's going to kill us just from that one thing there. I can't believe we're going to lose this battle. I can't believe we're going to lose this battle to just happenstance. We have such a good deck. It's the wrong cards at the wrong time. It's all it comes down to. Frail, we can wait, wear it off. He's about to buff again. Let's escape planet. Too many block cards. Too many block cards in our hand. That is, I mean, that is a strategic problem I have. Is that I have too many block cards. And not enough damage cards still. Even after everything I've done. Doesn't matter. After everything I've done here, we still have too many... Oh, man. Yeah, this is going to be a big problem. Not a skill. I got to play this so I can maybe get a... Uh, some defense here. So I don't die. Play this so I don't die. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I might just play that because we want, we don't want to leave anything behind. It means I have to get rid of this, actually. Gotta get rid of that. Hey, that's a skill. Um, do that. Man, it was a gamble. We blocked. He's gonna hit us for some. He's gonna hit us for some. Oh, it hurts so bad. All right, he's about to buff again. Where did this come from? Oh, this was that... This was that card that added a random card to our hand, right? Yeah, we did play this before on him. All right, well, that's... Might be worthwhile. We're going to play both of those. We're going to play both of these cards, though. 27 twice. That works for me. Pendip came in handy there. Now we need to rest next time we get to a, a campsite, though. Six damage, four poison. I mean, poison's nice. We have too many cards right now. We're just not really a gear. We're not really spec for poison up here either. We're nothing that boosts poison or anything like that. We have no cards that boost poison really. They have too many block cards already. They always come at the wrong come at the wrong times. Flying knee upgraded already. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? All right. We got a merchant. Hopefully he's got something good for us. 72 bucks. Can't really do much with that now, can I? Card removal, at least. Uh, this would be lo lovely to have, but I can't. In two dexterity would be fantastic. That would make our blocks go a lot longer. Uh, I might buy... I can't buy both, though, can I? Cards which exhaust been played... No. Extra resting. Nope. Can't do any of those things. Let's get rid of one of these blocks. I don't... No. Yeah, I don't need all those blocks in there. Actually, should I keep the blocks and get rid of the strikes? I honestly think the strikes are probably less, less useful for us right now. Yeah. All right. That's our... That's, that's, that's it for now. This might be it for us. I can't believe... I don't think this was necessarily my own stupidity or anything like that. We got that, that got us killed here. All right, so now we have no rest unless I go this way. If I go this way, then we get two rests, and we won't get an enemy here. So I got to bypass all enemies. Then let's go this way. Strategically, you have to have to do it. So we got fifty three gold and a lantern. Hey, lantern's nice. Another shopkeep. I mean, I need to do it. Oh, that'd be fun. That's just an all-around nice card to have. Two damage. Two. This would actually play twice, though, with our... Oh, no, this is good. We need more two, more high-cost cards in our hands because these attack cards play twice with this with this, uh, the, with the Necronomicon. We might need that. That might not be bad. Infinite Blades. Nah. Nah, it's not worth it. I'm doing that. I'm thinking that's the problem with our hand. We have a lot of ways to gain energy now. Playing a two cost energy is expensive, but if it gets gets 20 block and 20 damage, that's cool. I think that's fine. So we're gonna count on those cards coming through fast. We still have too many cards in our hand. I can't get rid of any though. We're a few bucks short of that. Alright. Alright, see ya. Let's rest. Recover back as much as we can. 
We got 21 back. That'll keep us alive. Keeps us alive for a turn or two here. We got another rest here too if we want it. You happen to find a group of what looks like purple spirits dancing around a bonfire. The spirits toss small bones and fragments into the fire, which brilliantly erupts each time. As you approach, the spirits turn to you expectantly. Receive a reward based on the offer. All right, offer. What do I want to give them? Something good, right? I can't give them a curse card. They're going to give me something bad. I got to give them like a, a semi-good card, like a block, maybe. All right. You toss the offering into the bonfire. Nothing happens. Spirit, seriously, me do ignoring you for now. I think if I throw a curse in there, though, they would have been mad. Maybe I do need to throw a curse in there, though. The bonfire spirits might like take a curse, and then I can, they can, uh, they'll probably like curse me again if I or curse me double. All right. So now we have a rest again. Ah, uh, twenty-one back. Yeah, I probably need to do it. Upgrading those cards would be great, but not a huge deal right now. All right, another elite is going to get us two more relics, and we have another rest before the boss, which is good. We're making it through the third area. Okay, ah, these guys again. Uh, last time, this only took us two turns, I think. Let's see if we can fare well, that well this time around. All right, I'm considering the jacks. This will lose three HP, not just damage us for three. I'm pretty sure. We just lose three HP. Okay, they're going to hit us for 14. We have 10 block already. Let's see what this happens with this one. Let's see what happens with this one. Okay. All right. They have one week on already. I have 10 blocked. This will add another three block on. So that's 13 block. Should probably play that. Do I want to, do I want to take the jacks or not? I'm going to say no. We didn't need the last time we fought these guys. And I'm gonna get rid of the jacks. And then we're gonna go with uh gain two cards and exhaust. Nice. We're gonna go with this guy. Two attacks there. We're gonna go with a this one out there. Now we have most of it blocked. Uh we can apply this one for free. Add some more block onto him. Not really a big deal. Hey, we can block all of it. Why not? All right. Good start. Good start. We got one nearly dead this first turn here. We got double damage next turn. Burns are bad, but that's just how we died last time. That's all right, though. That's all right. I can live. All right. Overall, I think I want to apply the uh, the bonfire onto this guy. Or not uh, the, uh, the bonfire. Where's the bonfire come from? Uh, we want to play Terror. Overall, I think we're going to put the terror onto this guy here because he's going to be around longer and have better benefit from it. Do I want to do that first, though? Hold on. Uh, our attack will do double damage here. Looks like 20 damage now with this. Nice. All right, let's put this on him. Let's then put this on him. Let's give her the burn. Okay. We have one energy left. It probably finisher would probably make the most sense. Um... But I have, so, I have double da attack damage this turn, so I'm going to definitely take advantage of that. So let's do this. And I'm going to gain the energy back. These are elites. We can't. We got to pull all the stops here. I'm going to say we get... Yes, we have two more energy. We have 13 to block still. I can play this. Do 18 for each damage attack you've played. Right now I've played it twice. So that's 18 times 2. Oh, it's 27 times 2 now. Deal 27 for each attack, so that's 40 something. Oh god, I gotta play another attack here still. Uh alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get rid of this defend here. We're not gonna play that. This is good. This is a freebie. This is a freebie. Oh my god, yes. So good. He has a letter opener. Every time you play three skills in a single turn, you deal five damage to all enemies. Okay. Paper crane. Enemies of the weak deal 50% less damage than 25%. Nice. And a card. Catalyst. Well, that's awesome one, but I don't have enough poison in my hand to really take advantage of that. 
Thinking about this one, maybe. I don't know. We have a lot of cards still. 34 is a lot. All right. I'm going to say no to the dagger spray, the, the level one dagger spray. All right. We are at a rest point again. Do I rest or upgrade? Let's take a look at our cards here. See what we would upgrade if I could upgrade. I'll consider upgrading Predator probably. I would consider upgrading. Hmm. Maybe Dash. I would consider upgrading those two. That takes us going into the boss with less than full health. Do I dare do it though? I'm going to want the health back at some point. If I rest, I'm going to get 21 back, which takes us back to full. Do I trust my deck or do I upgrade it once? I'm going to trust it. I'm going to trust it. I trust my deck more than I trust my health. So I'm going to rest and count on my deck being as good enough as it can be right now. We'll upgrade those cards later somehow. Someday. Here we go. All right. These guys are no problem. What, what's the deal here? Is he the awakened one? Aggressive? What's he doing here? He's got aggressive. He's okay. He's got an unawakened. This enemy is not awakened yet. Okay. We have curiosity. Whenever you play a power, it gains three strength. Okay. I don't have any powers really. And he has heals 10 HP back. Okay. For 10 turns. No, it's just 10. This always heals 10. All right. We can handle these guys. No problem. I'm not too concerned about them. Now let's get this out there because that's no problem. Let's get this out there. That's no problem. All right. We might be able to take advantage of that. I'm considering... I'll, if we see the Jax, I'm definitely play that this turn, I think. He's in his for five. We already have ten blocks, so we have to worry about that. Uh, let's play this for twice attacking. All right, down 16 right away here. And we'll play, get nine for each attack we've done so far. We do 10. We do... Another nine. We dash up on this guy, maybe? Oh, okay. Let's do first. Let's do nine times four. It's thirty-six. So we still need more on this guy. Now we get five attacks. So now we can kill him. There we go. And doesn't matter. And we'll gain the energy and exhaust. All right. I like it. Let's try it. And we draw two cards next turn. Oh, we get six cards next turn. And we, do we get the double damage? No, we don't. That's right. Is he awakened yet? yet? No, he's not. All right. It's us for five. He heals back for ten. Okay. That's all right. I think we got this one. My hand is full. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right, my hand is full. Uh, let's see, what can I get rid of? We need 10 block. Get vulnerable on him. So that'll be good to have. Weaken on him. Uh, let's get random skill in our hand. Ooh, that'd be a nice one to have. I'm going to save that for later. That's going to come in handy. Let's do, uh, let's do this. This will get us up to 10, I think, then. Yep, so that takes this next attack worth more. We'll play this guy first. We'll also play this guy. And we have no more block, but it's okay. I'm willing to take three hit on this. Or I guess do this. Eh, not worth it. We're going to wait. We're going to wait on that one. It's going to come in handy at some point. Count on it. Count on it coming back. Trust it. Trust the deck. And again, we don't have to finish this boss battle well. We just got to finish it. 18 damage to block this time. All right. Let's get rid of doubt. Cast cast out all doubt. Oh, we didn't, we didn't get a draw. Okay, it wasn't a hit. Oh, this is a hit and draw, though. And get rid of this guy. And uh, let's get rid of this guy. What do I get rid of? 
Ooh, what do we get rid of? What do we get rid of? What am I going to play here still? I'm going to play this guy, this guy, I'm going to play this guy. So I have to play, I have to get rid of this one. I only have two energy left. So let's gain the block. Let's, maybe if we're going to take, uh, what? Three damage on that one? Worth it. He's not awakened yet. I think when he gets down to 50%, he's going to certainly turn on us. I don't know what awakened means. We'll see what happens here. Okay. 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 Double damage. This turn. This could be good. This could be very, very good for us. Uh. All right. That's a freebie. Let's re-roll it. So we get some block damage or blocking block damage. Whatever that means. 12. Cool. And... This is going to hit for 54 twice. Oh, I love that. Look at that. Mr. Unawakened one. You're down to five. You're down to five. Now I wish I had the potion back here. Oh, this is so good. Oh my God, we got him with the, with the, with the, with the letter opener. Oh, stabbed him in the face with the letter opener. Oh, wait a second. He's the unawakened. He's the awakened one. He's in, he was unawakened before. Now he's gonna be awakened. He's gonna be standing up. I'm guessing, and we have to fight him all over again. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I am perfectly okay with it. We didn't take any damage there. Have at it, man. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind. Bring it on. We're ready for you. We're gonna take you down. Forty, huh? You think that's gonna be enough? What I need is that card that does uh, attack for each. Um... Yeah, we're gonna try to get that in our hand. Yes, this is the one to play right now. I'm gonna say. Strike, get rid of that. Yep. Piercing Whale, get out of there. All right, go. That's gonna be more manageable then. We have one energy left. This will be to 14. This will be to 12. And a draw. A draw might be good. This will get us more energy for next turn. We will survive till next turn. All right, we're getting there. I don't know how this is going to go. I really don't. We'll see. Dark Echo. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. All right, he's back. He's doing 16 damage next turn. We can block 16. Oh, this is bad. Cast out doubt. We got 12. He'll hit us for some. We'll get less, one last card next turn. It's not great. He's going to hit us for four damage. That's okay. Not the end of the world. We're still hanging on here. Sludge, huh? Darkness. Oh, ouch. He's going to do 12 times 2, so we need this card out there. That does 2 attacks, so that's as we play 2 attack cards, so it's for another 11. We're blocking 22 right now. He's going to hit for 24. That's not the end of the world. Otherwise, I hold off on this one and block it all with this. I mean, that four damage might actually come back to haunt me. More so than an extra couple attack blood here. I can't play both, unfortunately. I'm going to do this. Because maybe you get something good on the, the back end there. All right, we got 25 block. That's enough to block that attack. Let us have it. Nice. That does a couple damage to him. All right. I dig it. Escape plan. Not what we wanted. Block some of that at least. It's got to hit him for everything we got here then. I can't play that. Shoot, I didn't time that quite right. He's going to hit us for... Uh, what? 24 minus 9. We're still going to live. We've seen a really good hand. Oh god, this is going to be so damn close. 
So he's so close. All right, let's cast out Doubt here first. Oh man, we don't have it. We don't have it. Let's see. If we play this, we get 11 on him for free. 42, okay. Flying knee. And we timed it out with all attack just right. It's not even enough. We're going to lose by one. We're losing by one. We're losing by one. Are you kidding me? One point. He's doing 16. We have 15 reserve right now. And there's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh my god, that's frustrating. You guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. This was down to the wire. As down to the wire as it can possibly be. He hits us for tw he hits us for 16. We lose by one health. He's got two health left. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, 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 we drew, we did the draw there. Hold on a second, hold on a second. F photo finish here. Wait a second, hold on. He killed me, yes, but he is dead because we have bronze scales, which ended up killing him just now. We win, we have the ultimate damage, we won the make, we did it. <laughs> the game doesn't care. There should be a post-mortem death here because we tied the the broad skills happens after he takes his damage whenever he take two damage whenever he take damage deal two damage back i mean that is it that was that would be it oh man guys this was such a fun build this was such a fun build i don't know if i'm ever going to have another one this good is the thing a familiar feeling indeed a familiar feeling this was so good this was so cool i'm so mad so mad. 54 floors climbed. Is this the last guy of the game? I'd buy that. I bet you this is the last guy of the game. And we lost. We had a draw with the last guy of the game. I'm thinking that's the case. I don't know. But damn. That was cool. I mean, I'm going to need a break from the game now for a little bit after that one. But we'll be back probably next week sometime. To try it again, so I can forget this run a little bit, and uh, all my glorious relics. Man. All right. See you next time. Bye.